Our next comedian brought to you by Lipton Iced Tea. Lipton, the only iced tea with Lipton in the front. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles are about to come on, but before that, how about a hand for the very awesome and talented Mr. Carl Kozlowski, everybody. Carl Kozlowski. Hey, how's everybody going out there? Woo! Yeah, I'm excited to be here tonight because I just lost 50 pounds in the last six months. Of course, I found them on a taco truck in La Cienega. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to lose 125 pounds. So I'm in what I call the holy crap zone. People that know me are like, holy crap, dude, how'd you lose 50 pounds? People that don't know me are like, holy crap, dude, you need to lose 75 pounds. I died! <laughs> Woo! I'll be losing it in the next five minutes, apparently. So... Yeah, I gotta, say, I gotta say, people got a lot of misconceptions about being fat. Yeah, they like to uh, think that we're lazy. I'm about to dispel that with this, with this set, but yeah, they like to think we're lazy. I want you to know I have a disorder. I'm reverse anorexic. <laughs> yeah, so uh, they also like to call this a gut. I prefer to call it a spare tire. Because that way when my doctor tells me I'm morbidly obese, I just tell him I'm AAA approved. So, not only am I fat, I got another problem. I'm a narcoleptic. So those of you in the front row might want to scoot back a little bit because it's going to get very painful very shortly. Yeah, narcolepsy is where you can fall asleep anytime, anywhere. Yeah, so uh, some people don't understand that, though. I told a crowd that a couple weeks ago that I'm narcoleptic. Some chick in the second row goes, oh, my God, does that mean you like to f*** dead people? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I said, f on 1950s television, what the? So, I gotta say though, no, honey. Uh, no, honey, that, that's necrophilia. But, since you asked, only when they're sleeping. <laughs> so, who doesn't? Uh, so, I gotta say though, another thing, being narcoleptic's kinda tough. I, uh, yeah, as I, sorry, I. Sorry. <laughs> watch it there. Oh yeah, it's a rough time finding work when you're narcoleptic. Because let's just say I'm the only person in the history of Los Angeles to sleep my way out of a job. Hi! <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, I gotta say, also, uh, you know, it leaves me with limited transportation options. The cops won't allow me to drive, imagine that. Yeah, so I'm stuck taking the bus and the train everywhere. Actually, the bike also. Hey! I. <laughs> oh! So, uh, watch out. I gotta say that you know, riding a bike everywhere is kind of pathetic when you're 38 years old and weigh over 300 pounds. But, uh, yeah. But, you know, I gotta say though, it's kind of strange. Like, once in a while, I gotta put on a suit, you know, for special occasions when I get on the bike. People can look at me and they get the hell out of my way because they think I'm the world's scariest Mormon. Ow! <laughs> That's a thinker. I, uh,. Yeah, but I gotta say also that, uh, I gotta say also that it's, it mixes up my dating life. I'll tell a young lady that I'm gonna drive by, sw swing around, pick up on my bike. <laughs> and she's like, oh, Harley? I'm like, no, Huffy. Oh, look out. So, I can't keep up with my drummer. So. <laughs> I'm allowed to look at this because I'm providing so much entertainment. I, uh... <laughs> yeah, so I take the bus and the train everywhere, too, you know? And they call the bus and the train the Metro, and they're trying to make it sound cool by putting these, like, posters on board. They'll say, like, take Metro to shop, and they'll have a picture of Paris Hilton holding a gold leather bag that costs $5,000 from Rodeo Drive, and she's waiting for the next bus to come along. And I'm like, no, they need a more realistic photo for that. Like, take Metro to shop. I have like a crack addict's hand and close up, turning purple from holding 52 plastic bags from the 99 cent store. <laughs> oh, that was stardust. I, uh, <laughs> oh my God. Well, just a couple more things I want to share with you. Yeah, so uh, not an awful, people ask, you know, is there any upsides to narcolepsy? I gotta say it makes life exciting. Cause uh, every night when I nod off unexpectedly on a bus or wake up unexpectedly on a train, it's kind of like I've just uh, kidnapped, drugged, and abandoned myself. <laughs> yeah, but the people wonder what the downside is. And it's got to be that sometimes when I masturbate, I actually fall asleep. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sad when you're so tired you can't even please yourself. <laughs> of course, the most awkward part is waking up naked, disoriented, and holding that picture of Doris Day. <laughs> I might have just split my pants on top of it. Watch out. I, uh, <laughs> so, but I gotta say though, as far as fantasy girls and all that stuff, I, I went to the 99 cent store and uh, I don't know if you ever noticed, but actually the five and dime, since we're in the 1950s, but, uh, you know, the five and dime when you're checking out the store, they have like the fantasy brand condoms. They're always next to the, right next to the home pregnancy test. I'm thinking if you're trusting your birth control needs to the five and dime store, you should skip over the condoms and go directly to the home pregnancy test. <laughs> I mean, besides, they call it fantasy brand condoms. I'm like, yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's a fantasy if you think you're going to have a sex life when you're shopping at the Five and Dime. <laughs> hey -oh. All right, thanks a lot, folks. I'm Carl Kozlowski. <laughs> Tea, everybody. Pick up Lipton Ice Tea. That said, was sponsored by Lipton Ice Tea.